Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mohammed Inzamam from Sai Mehta Estate Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. Sai Mehta, Koti, Hyderabad is providing free of cost YouTube video lectures for previous ESET examination questions from the effective faculties of Sai Mehta, Koti, Hyderabad. My dear students, in these video lectures, every single day for all the branches EC, EEE, Mechanical, Civil, and Computers, for all the branches, every single day we are updating PYQs, previous ESET examination questions. So what are you waiting for, guys? Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to be notified for the further more updates. Day update just from my dear students in the era of where people are making everything as a business Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad is giving the coaching for online ESET 2024-2025 offline ESET 2024-2025 key when I'm coaching already new admission new batches and already start open I'm Eero Jullo where 10th class admissions are going to be for month effective faculty slow home tuitions Kuda per month ever ever in a sare thousand rupees cut it a quantity charge here in Chala custom effective faculties reputed uh, institutes law reputed uh, uh, experience to now faculty members of the 10th class home tuitions this call and a sare per month they'll be definitely charging minimum thousand rupees around today uh, in and around for one year you'll be getting a payment of around how much twelve thousand. For SSE home tuition itself, if you are paying 12,000 guys, Thai Medha Koti Hyderabad is providing one and a half year coaching, two years coaching, three years coaching. Thai Medha Koti Hyderabad lo coaching and first year diploma in which start happening. Second year diploma students start typing. Third year diploma students start typing. Three years course under the two years course under the one year course under the Alanti the total courses you could have a put of another graph is ready. Ten thousand that live. Andulo Kuda Mali merit betty. Percentages wise, concessions with the economically backward everything under Walani encourage Jalino Desham though minimum fees though maximum concessions though Sai Meda Kodi Hyderabad is providing every year coaching results. Vishani Kose, you know it, guys. Every single year, top five branches low state first ranks to Paduga maximum ranks was secured by Sai Meda Kodi Hyderabad only. So, my dear students, what are you waiting for? ESET 2024, ESET 2025, ESET 2026. Coaching has been started in the Sai Meda Kodi Hyderabad. Effective coaching is coming expertised faculties in the coaching is Digitally recorded video classes in a systematic pattern low coaching we are providing both online and as well as offline. So what are you waiting for guys? Download the app saimeda.in and press the bell icon to be notified for the every updates. Uh, every single day we are going to be updating in the YouTube channel. Subscribe the channel, press the bell icon to be notified. Download the app saimeda.in and uh, scrolling on the mobile numbers key contact journey and join now in Saimeda Koti Hyderabad. At the end of the video, I'll come back one more time for some more information. Till then guys, watch the video now. Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss the solutions of previous EZ exam questions from the digital electronics subject right so from this subject now we have to discuss uh, solutions of uh, one topic the topic name is logic gates right so uh, logic gates concept uh, so to understand uh, these concepts these uh, pay, uh, these questions and solutions uh, you have to go through the uh, video lectures okay completely watch all audio, all video lectures and later try to solve these problems right so first of all go through the question and unstable a stable multi vibrator has so this question given in uh, he said 2009 right and uh, a stable multi vibrator has now the question is uh, related to the multi vibrator right so multi vibrator multi vibrator uh, consists two states here which consists of uh, two states right those states are generally we are taking here one is a uh, high state and uh, another is low state okay so multiple multi vibrator output always gives the two states one is high state and low states these two states here we have to write whether the states are stable or unstable right if suppose these two states are stable states right two okay two states are stable states then the multi vibrator is called bistable multi vibrator that name explains it has a two stable state bistable state right and uh, from these two states so uh, one is stable state one stable and one is unstable so unstable means according to the electronics point of view there we have to write a uh, uh, quasi stable quasi stable but here we are writing just unstable so one is stable and one is unstable then the multi vibrator is called mono stable multi vibrator so mono mono explains the only one so it has stable states only one stable state always the multi vibrator name is explained by the states only number of stable states only okay number of stable states so 
if two states are stable states by stable state one is a stable state another should be unstable only right so one is stable then it is called a monostable states uh, and two are unstable states two unstable right two unstable then the name is called a stable multi vibrator no stable states here right uh, according to the analysis uh, if the uh, stable states are not defined okay both are uh, if the stable state is there then it requires triggering signal so two stable states requires two triggers here but here only one stable one trigger is required here no stable states so no trigger signals are required for a stable multi vibrator now the question is a stable multi vibrator so a stable multi vibrator has two unstable states so now go through the question now uh, yeah two unstable states so this one and a two stable one unstable this one is wrong two equal stable states wrong and four unstable states so four is also wrong so it has how many uh, stable states so two unstable states so according to the given question option one satisfies so option one correct right please take this now Yeah, another question from the ESET uh, 2009 paper, uh, the most widely used universal gates are, right, see, uh, according to the logic gates concept, uh, uh, I want to explain that complete introduction part here, so logic gates, logic gates are defined from the basic boolean operation, so those are basic gates, okay, basic gates, basic gates are and or not, so these gates are the basic gates, from these, these gates, Another gates are designed, those are universal gates, universal gates, universal gates are NAND and NOR, these two, these two are acts as universal gates because uh, design of any Boolean expression is possible using these gates. So using NAND gate we can design any Boolean expression and using NOR gate also we can design any type of Boolean expression. So design of any Boolean expression is possible or design of any gate is possible using these gates. Uh, that's why these gates are called universal gates, right? And we have another gates, those are special gates, special gates, right? Special gates are XR and XNOR, these two are uh, access special gates because these two are used to design the orthomatic circuits and design of comparison uh, comparison circuits okay comparator circuits and design of parity generators okay to generate the parity these gates are used here exclusive R and exclusive R so now uh, according to the given question we want which gates now universal gates universal gates are NAND and NOR then go through the question uh, your first option AND and R, R not is there so R and AND the wrong nor and AND, these are correct here nor and and is mentioned so nor is a universal gate but and is not universal gate right and here nand is a universal gate but or is not universal gate so these two are wrong according to the given question we want uh, universal gates so universal gates are nand and nor so according to the given question which option satisfies now option two right please take this now yeah another question yeah Another question from the ESA 2010 paper, right? Uh, a circuit which is working as NAND gate which uh, positive logic system will works as a uh, dash gate with the negative logic system, right? Okay, so first of all, we have to know what is positive logic, what is negative logic, right? So digital circuits are classified into two types, positive logic circuits and negative logic circuits, right? Positive logic circuits and negative logic circuit so digital analysis generally deals with only two possible combinations right those possible combinations we can take either a high or low right sometimes we can take a positive negative or sometimes we can take a open circuit short circuit or sometimes we can write true or false only two possible combinations those are comes under digital analysis right so now here we have to take two possible combinations that possible combinations i'm taking here high voltage and low voltage Okay, let us write here low voltage and high voltage. Just I'm taking the signal like this. And if you take, I if you assume so, all these possible combinations in terms of binary numbers, in terms of binary numbers using positive logic and negative logic. So we can assume using both, right? That assumption should be like this. If you assume so, high voltage as a binary one and low voltage as a binary zero, then the logic is called positive logic. Or one more possible combination also there. We can take in a reverse case. Because these are the numbers. So just we are assuming all possible combinations into some numbers. These possible combinations are high voltage, low voltage or sometimes we can write uh, true or false. Right. Sometimes we can write uh, short circuit or open circuit. 
right sometimes we can write positive voltage or negative voltage these are the two possible combinations according to the representation we can take any one now according to the voltage high voltage and low voltage or sometimes we can take positive and negative voltage but generally we have to use these terminology here right high voltage and low voltage if you assume so high voltage as a binary one if you write the high voltage as a binary one representation because we have to write in terms of numbers representation here right and low voltage as a binary zero then the logic is called positive logic and if you assume high voltage as a binary zero and low voltage as a binary one then it is called a negative logic right and default logic always we have to take which logic positive logic <coughs> yeah default logic is positive logic now the question is nand gate nand gate with the positive logic uh, is works as a dash gate with the negative logic so what is the equivalent to negative logic we have to find out right right that logic is always gives in nor gate only so for easy understanding purpose now i'm taking uh, truth table of truth table of nand gate right so nand operation a dot b okay later i will write this uh, expression according to the logic so just i want to find the output here right using a b and 0 0 i am taking 0 1 and 1 0 and 1 1 i am taking now nand logic first of all we will we will go through the nand logic nand is the combination of and no and and not both are cascaded first of all it performs the and operation later not operation so and operation explains the any one input is zero output should be zero if all inputs are one then the output is one right so here all all inputs are one then the output is one but again we have to perform not again right so here it becomes zero and the remaining combinations it is one <coughs> right so finally we can write here uh, nand gate nand gate gives the if any one input is zero output should be one if all inputs are one then the output should be zero this is the nand gate now i want to write a negative logic uh, table negative logic table uh, uh, from this now see if you want to convert positive logic to ne negative logic here we have to change only one parameter one becomes zero and zero becomes one so just apply this analysis right so one becomes zero and zero becomes one so just i am realizing from the input combination see 0 0 is there so now it becomes 1 1 and 0 1 1 0 and 1 0 this is 0 1 and 1 1 0 0 right and what about this side all these are becomes 0 and this one becomes a 1 now just to go through this one here right so here this uh, this table explains the statement should be like this if uh, all inputs are 0 if all inputs are 0 then the output is 1 if any one input is 1 then the output is 0 so this is similar to which expression according to their logic that is equal to a plus b whole bar but here this is equal to which, which expression according to your boolean expression this is equal to a dot b whole bar right so a dot b whole bar is access which gate now nand gate but in negative logic if you write the same table in negative logic uh, then it becomes which operation a plus b whole bar a plus b whole bar is a nor operation so we can write a negative logic of NAND gate is a NOR, nor gate. Negative logic of NOR gate is a NAND. So these two are in interchanges. This is explained by one standard Boolean theorem. That theorem is called duality. So we can write now duality of NAND is NOR. Duality of NOR is NAND. Right. So now indirectly the question is comes under. The question comes under uh, duality only. So first of all we have to identify that. So duality of NAND is uh, which gate now? NOR. So according to the given question, which option correct now? Option 3 correct. Right. Please take this now. <coughs> yeah. This is also one of the important question from the XR operation. Every time we can expect these type of questions in ESET or any other competitive exams. Right. So here XNOR questions are, XNOR gates are there. So first of all, we have to know the XNOR gate operations. Right. XNOR gate. Okay, two gate uh, at a time only two inputs we can apply for the special gates. So now I'm taking two possible combinations. One input is one now, right? In XNR gate, one input is one. Here A is connected, then the output is gives the A only. So that means it acts as buffer, right? So this operation we can write like this: one XNR A is always A. In XNR gate, one input is zero, then it is acts as inverter. So A is connected, then it gives the A bar. So we can write like this: zero XNR A is a A bar. So in XNR gate, one input is one, it acts as a buffer, and one input is zero, it acts as an inverter. Now, the go through the question now. Here A is connected, but this is one here, right? If it is one, uh, then the output of this one is A only, because one input is A, another input is one. So again, one input is one connected here, then which gives A, right? Finally, these two outputs are A, A, and it is A is connected here. A and A, both are equal. In XNR operation, if both inputs are equal, then the output should be one, right? So A XNR A is 1. XNR operation. It's not XR. In XR gate equal inputs, it gives a 0. 
Anikur inputs uh, it, uh, XR operation gives the 1, but here we, uh, these gates are comes under XNAR gates, XNAR gate uh, performs exactly opposite to the XR operation. So, if the inputs are equal, then the output should be 1. If the inputs are not equal, output should be 0. So, here inputs are equal, right? So, A is connected and here A is connected, then the output should be 1. Then we have to select which combination now? 1 option, 1 correct according to the given question, right? Yes, please take this now. Yeah, another question from the ESET 2011 paper. Odd parity can be detected by, yes, odd parity. So, just it has to identify odd number of ones, right? It has to identify odd number of ones. If odd number of ones, then the output should be 0. If the uh, uh, inf information consists even number of ones, then the output should be 1. That is explained by odd parity. So, first of all, I will write one table here. Odd parity bit, right? If the information, now let us take this is one information. 1, 0, 1, 0. So, number of ones in this is 2, only 2 ones are there. If the number of ones are 2 ones, then the output should be uh, 1, right? Because it is odd parity. Odd parity always explains the uh, odd number of ones. If the, uh, if the information consists of odd number of ones, then the output should be 0. So now the information is like this, 1, 1, 1, 0. How many ones are here? 3 ones. So odd number of ones, then the output should be 0. So this is the standard representation of the uh, odd parity. So that purpose, I am I'm writing now one simple table using uh, 2 bits, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, what is the function of this one? If the information consists odd number of ones, then the output should be 0. So, now here, how many ones are there? 2 ones, 1. Only 1 1, so 0. Odd number of ones, this should be 0. Only 1 1, so output should be 0. And here it has a 0 ones. 0 is also comes under even number. So, even number of ones, output should be 1. So, now, it is similar to which operation? XNR operation, right? So, XNR operation always gives the if the inputs are equal, output should be 1. If the inputs are not equal, output should be 0. So, this is equal to which gate now? XNAR gate. So, odd parity is explained by which gate? XNAR gate. If you want to find even parity, then we, we can select XR operation, right? So, these two are access a parity generator gates, right? These two, XNAR and XR, these two are access a parity generator gates. But this is a user to generate the even parity and this is user to generate the odd parity. So, uh, XNAR is a uh, user to generate the odd parity. So, according to the given question, option 2, correct, right? Please take this now. Yeah, another question. This question given in 2011. Uh, the bias table multivibrator has, yes, uh, just now I have explained the bias table multivibrator, monostable multivibrator, astable multivibrator. Bias table multivibrator has how many stable states? Two stable states. So, go through the option now. Oh, two stable states. One stable is not possible. 2 quasi stable not possible, 1 stable not possible. So, according to the given question, which option correct now? Option 1 correct. Please take this now. So, thank you very much guys for watching this video till the end. Uh, uh, definitely this video has been uh, improvised your subject knowledge and definitely given you an idea about how the previous ESET examination question is getting up here. Again, one more time guys, if video ni miru, nachide kachidanga, like jayandi, share jayandi, subscribe jayandi and press the bell icon to be notified for the further more updates guys. Uh, Admissions and already start open. ESET 2024, ESET 2025, ESET 2026. First year, wallaki, second year, wallaki, third year, wallaki, already ESET coaching and online coaching and offline coaching. New batches is going to be started, guys. So, my dear students, what are you waiting for? Download the app Saimeda.in. Make any doubts on the scrolling on mobile numbers. Contact Jenny. Join now in Saimeda Koti Hyderabad. Thank you very much. This is Mohammed Zamam signing off.